Hello everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to my channel. We have been covering Doclink for quite some time. Doclink, in my opinion, is one of the best open source libraries which allows you to parse documents and export them to the desired format with lot of ease and speed. We already have covered Doclink in various videos. So if you are interested in learning in depth about Doclink as how to use it, how to install it locally and then how you can generate and parse PDF documents, JSON and lot of other things, please go to my channel and search with Doclink and you should be able to see this video which I did a month ago and the response was quite good So, and I'm more than sure you're going to like it. But for the purpose of this video, what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how you can integrate this Doclink with Langchain. Langchain is one of the premier framework or tool to create AI powered applications and they have expanded a lot. Not only you can generate these applications, you can integrate a lot of other stuff like you can parse documents, you can deal with a lot of data types and you can format that data compatible to your AI agents and LLMs and there is a lot more to it and I already have covered this lang chain in heaps of videos on the channel. For the purpose of this video, I am going to show you everything in the free Google Colab and you should be easily able to replicate it on your own environment and I will drop the link to the notebook which I am going to use in this video. So first step, let's install Docklink and few of the other stuff. So you see here, I am installing Docklink, Docklink core library and then this is for our environment and these are few of the lang chain stuff. These two are for LLM, which is which we will be getting from Hugging Face. And this is a text splitter, which I will explain shortly. And Milvus is the vector store, which we are going to use. So what we are going to do here, we are going to install all of these stuff. And then we are going to take a PDF file. You can, of course, use your own PDF file. Then we are going to use Lang Chain Splitter to split or chunk that PDF into smaller pieces. We will then convert that those smaller pieces with into numerical representations or embedding with the help of an embedding model and then we will store those embeddings or vectors into a vector store for the vector store we are using a milvus also if you don't know what milvus is milvus is an open source vector database that suits ai applications of every size from running a demo chatbot in jupyter notebook to building web scale search i already have covered this Milvus on the channel. So if you're interested in learning exclus exclusively about Milvus, go to my channel and search it out. Next up, you can uh, load your environment. If you have set your environment variable, I'm just going to run this. It is uh, says false because I haven't set anything yet. Uh, if you want, you can set it in your uh, secret store and load it from there. So. Next up, you can define your Docklink class and let me show you how. Now in this code chunk, all I am doing, I am simply importing some of the libraries like base loader, document and document converter. And then we are creating this Docklink PDF loader, uh, loader. So what we are doing here is we are primarily just using this LC document uh, library or function to create this class for Docklink PDF loader and then we will use it to load the documents. That is all we are doing. So let me run it. And that is all done. Next up, let's specify the file. As I said, you can specify your own file if you like. And for this, I have just given this URL. Next up, we can grab this file and then we can split it into chunks as I mentioned above. And we are keeping the chunk size of 1000 and chunk overlap is 200. And that is typical of the RAG pipeline. Once that's done, we can simply split the document into smaller pieces. It will be easily manageable. And this takes a bit of a time because it is loading the model. And that is all done. So it takes around five minutes. You just have to be patient. Next up, we can log into Hugging Face and we can also put this here and this is um, still not mandatory but i think it's always a good idea to log into hugging face because sometimes it asks for your retoken 
you can grab your read token uh, from huggingface.co let me put in my token here and then i am just going to click on that notebook login so once you click on login it is going to log in here so that hopefully is quite good yep that's logged in so now we can grab our embedding model from hugging face and by the way i'm using hugging face you can use a lot of other models from openai uh, and a lot of other models from other providers by using lang chain our embedding model is done next we need to specify our vector store if you remember we we are doing this milvus db which is an open source one and we are just creating this demo lightweight db here and it is um, now storing those vector embeddings into our vector store as you can see splits embeddings and all that stuff so let's wait for it it depends upon the document size it takes a bit of a time and that is already done that is cool next up let's specify the llm if you take a step back and think about it we are basically defining different components and then we will chain them together with lang chain that is the whole um, concept behind lang chain that it, it allows you to have these all distributed composable component which you can knit together to create your uh, application which is ai powered or your rack pipeline and our llm is also defined now we can specify this uh, sort of rag pipeline so you see we are importing all of this stuff from blank chain where we are defining prompt template and then this document this is just a formatting simple function uh, with python this is how we want to display our prompt and then this is a retriever which retrieves the data from vector store and this is the basically the chain or the chain with the lang chain where we are chaining our context basically all the format talks question prompt and the llm and then this is going to output it as per this this is all we are doing so everything is very nicely distributed here everything is being chained and now you can ask the question uh, from your document which you specified above with this chain and you can simply invoke that chain by saying drag underscore chain dot invoke and this is a question which we are asking from our document and as soon as we have run it it is saying that okay we asked how many pages were human annotated for this and then it is telling us that these many pages were annotated and just to show you that this actually is asking uh, from doc lin uh, linet i just asked how many haircuts were done in doc linet it says that there's no information in the provided context that suggests a relation between doc linet and haircuts that's very good so you see it is very grounded it is very much focused and docling has really done it again and by the way uh, this lang chain also has these document parser and stuff but i believe that with the help of docling it just goes to next level so i hope that you enjoyed it as i said i will drop the link to it in video description the notebook thanks to lang chain really great stuff if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching